today's video is all about my June goals. Yes, I know I'm a couple days late. Sorry about that. And I also know I have no makeup on and my hair is a little bit messy, but this is when I had a chance to film it. And I don't really think you guys care about any of that stuff. So, you know what I always say, it's real life around here. And for me, real life is not stopping in the middle of the day to reapply makeup. So, is what it is. So, goals. I, I'm struggling with some goals. I really am. I, I always feel like they need to be these big, profound goals. And they don't. They can be little goals. And I, and I need to get myself together with that. Um... So that's what I'm trying to do. So let's review. In May, my new goals were less screen time, fail. Yeah, I failed. I, I just, I failed. I'd like to blame it. I'm so thirsty. I'm so sorry. I'd like to blame it on just because like this whole month has been like with Adam's, um, you know, being a senior and just with his virtual graduation prep and um, all the senior adoption fun stuff and all. I'd like to blame it on that, but I really can't. I can't. So I'm going to try again to reduce some screen time. Even Doug said something to me this morning about it. So when he starts noticing, yeah. I mean, he didn't say it mean or anything like that. Don't think I'm like, you know, an oppressed wife or something. He's just like, wow, you know, you spend a lot of time with your phone in your hand and your phone in your face. I'm like, you know what? I know I do. You're right. And so maybe that was a little kick I needed to just reduce my screen time a little bit. Just try. So, yeah, that was a fail. More crafts. I did pretty well with that one. Um, I made a lot of shirts for a lot of kids. Um, you know, I've been sewing masks like crazy. And I did some beach bags and some more napkins. So I'm def I definitely hit that goal to do more crafts because I love to do crafts and it makes me happy. So I definitely want to continue on with that. Um, I just said to Doug, I, I got to cut off these masks at some point because it's getting exhausting. So I think, I, I think Friday I'll set, oh, actually no, Friday Doug took the day off and we are having a family, excuse me. I ate a pretzel right before I started this and it stuck in my throat. But you know, I hate to edit, so you're going to see me cough and choke. Um, we're having a family mulch laying day on Friday, so of course I could have the men mulch and I could stay in and sew, right? That would be like pioneerish. We'll see. But I just... I want to, I want my sewing machine away for the weekend. I need that. I need that constant feeling of guilt for not sewing out of my face. So, yeah. Um, one of my new goals was water. 100%. I am very proud of myself on my water. Um, and if you've watched me, you know I told you what I've been doing. I've been getting my water. I fill this with ice and water and I just throw a tea bag. I don't know if you can see my tea bag. Or loose tea. I have a I have a cup that has a screen in it that I got from Teamy Tea. So I can throw loose tea in that one. So depending on what I'm using is what cup I use. I just throw a tea bag in and I use the same tea bag all day. It just flavors the water a little bit and it's perfect. I can suck these down like crazy. No sweetener or anything. And it's not a strong brewed tea because I'm filling it so much, because I'm drinking so much. So this little tip, and I told you I got that from a channel I watch called Megan Fox Unlocked. She's not Weight Watchers, um, but I really enjoy her channel. And it has been a lifesaver for me. I cannot believe how much water I'm getting in. So that is awesome. And I was gonna go back to intermittent fasting in May. I really didn't. I had a little bit. Um, Doug does it on a pretty regular basis. And I follow him just out of ease. Because um, like I don't feel like making two breakfasts. So I'll make all our breakfasts at one time. Um, so yeah, I, I decided it's really not 
I did not, for me, I didn't see a whole lot of benefits for it. I know some people love it and swear by it. Um, for me, I didn't see a whole lot of benefits. So I, I kind of let that one go pretty early on. Um, my continuing things for May were controlling my bite licks and tastes. I did fair with that. Um, there's always room for improvement with that with me. My water was a continuing goal, which I smashed. It was good. And oh, I couldn't read my writing. The other one was continuing to watch daily mass on live stream every morning and continue reading my devotional. And I am happy to say that I watch mass every morning, Monday to Friday now. And of course on Sundays, my devotional's taken a hit. Um, and I'm not sure why, but that is definitely back on track for this month. Um, I told you I bought this new one, this Melanie Shankel Everyday Holy, and I just need to get back to that. So that's how I did with last month's goals. So this month's goals, my continued goals are as always water. And I just feel like I can really do that. Really, I feel really good about that one. Um, my devotional is my continued goal, not eating BLTs and less screen time. So they're all the ones I, that I'm carrying over and hope to continue. And I feel like I should be able to do a pretty good job with those. For new goals, work on decluttering and organizing the basement. I'm tired of stuff. It's time to simplify my life a little bit. Um, I was, you know, I, Doug built me a beautiful shelf system down the basement. You know, I've got these big, beautiful shelves for all of my serving dishes and all that. And I was looking the other day and do I really need all those serving dishes? Do I really need them? What haven't I used? So, I'm going to start kind of weeding that kind of stuff out and weeding some um, kitchen gadget type stuff out, things like that. I need to simplify a little bit. I need to get stuff out of my life. Um, you know, I have boxes down there of like, back when I was newly married and a little bit before, I used to collect these little things. I don't even remember what they're called now. Oh my goodness, I can't believe I don't remember what they're called. They're little stone angels, but they're little like chunky little kid cheruby angels. And they have dried flowers like in places, like a dried flower wreath or whatever. Gosh, what are they called? Anyway, I'll have to look it up when I'm done. I used to collect those and I had a ton. Well now, it, they're just really not me anymore. So they're all wrapped nicely in tissue paper and put in a shoe box. Now I have a couple that are Christmas tree ornaments that I still use or like little Christmas ones that I still put out and those I would keep. But all these other ones are in a shoe box wrapped in tissue paper. Why? They're not bringing me any joy. I'm not seeing them every day. I don't have them displayed because they don't bring me joy. I sound like Marie Kondo. So why am I holding on to this box of them? You know, um, something else, I forget what it is. I, I, I forget what it is now that I used to collect. I don't even remember. Are downstairs in a box. Why? Why? Ah. So that's the kind of stuff I wanna get rid of. I wanna get rid of the clutter. I want to get rid of stuff that I'm not using, that I'm not going to use, that is not bringing me joy and happiness right now. So that's going to be a work in progress. I can't guarantee that'll get done this month, but it's there and it's in my face. Even if I get done one shelf, one shelf, now that our stores are opening and like the thrift stores and stuff will be opening and I can go and donate, that'll be a little kick in my pants to do it. The second thing is to buy two dorm items for Adam per week, even if it's something little, you know, even if it's just a bottle of body wash or a bottle of shampoo. I just want to start now collecting stuff, um, especially because, you know, I haven't been working and you know, I'm losing a lot of income. <laughs> so if I start now, just little by little by little buying stuff, then it won't be that big bill in the end. 
So that is my goal. Just like I said, little stuff. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Just little stuff. Um, you know, I, I did that for Andrew. Uh, and we were probably about... Adam has a few things. And we're probably about where we were with Andrew. Um, and honestly, with Adam not knowing if he was going to be on campus or anything, I didn't kind of go crazy buying stuff yet. But now, you know, it looks like we, we filled out his housing application. He picked his roommate, who's one of his buddies from high school. Um, so I'm feeling pretty good about that. So I'm going to start collecting that kind of stuff because it adds up. It really does add up. What? Oh, weekends. Weekends, I never used to have a problem with eating. Never. It was just another day for me. Lately, I've been really kind of snacky on the weekends and I need to rein that in a little bit, um, especially because my weigh-in's in the beginning of the week, so I can't go hog wild over the weekend. Um, and we've just been, especially now that things are starting to open a little bit, you know, we're going to be more social and things like that. So I just need to, to rein that in a little bit. Um, I'm, I'm doing it now because it's just now starting to get like a little picky and I need to rein it in now before it gets out of control. So, I mean, I did great this weekend, but I, I can see where I would have a tendency to do that. So I just need to be a little more mindful on the weekends. And the other thing is budget my time better. Now that I am not working five days a week, um, and I'm gonna have a lot of time off in the summer, I'm getting, I don't wanna say I'm getting lazy, cause I'm not lazy, but I'm a little more lackadaisical. Um, you know, my kitchen floor has needed to be cleaned for three days, but I'm like, yeah, I'll just do it tomorrow. Eh, I'll just do it tomorrow. I need to schedule myself a little bit better. On days that I'm working, I have a schedule and I stick to it. I need to do that on these days when I am not working because stuff is not getting done because, well, a little too much screen time. And there's always that, I can just do it tomorrow attitude. And then tomorrow comes and I don't do it. So I need to budget my time just a little bit better. Um, and I think I can do that. I, I just need to, you know, I do a to-do list every night before I go to bed. That's part of my bedtime routine. I write my to-do list for the next day. I check my calendar. Not that there's anything on my calendar these days, but I do that kind of stuff. So now I just need to maybe budget my time on that to-do list. Like put a time next to something like, you know what? At 9.30 when virtual mass is over, I'm going to start on the floor and clean the floor or I'm going to change my sheets or I'm going, you know, whatever. And that's what I need to do just to budget my time a little bit better. And I need to go back to setting a timer for things. Um, yeah, it just dawned on me that I threw my sheets in the washer yesterday and forgot about them. So now they need to be rewashed. So now I've wasted water, I've wasted energy, and I've wasted laundry soap because I'm a scatterbrain and I forgot. Before, I would always set a timer when I was working because I would get so engrossed in work I would set a timer, you know, the washer takes, usually I do my sheets on hot, quick, quick and hot, so it's 28 minutes. I would set the timer on my watch for 28 minutes. It was perfect, as soon as it went off, I would go up there and get it. Things, you know, are getting a little more relaxed and I need to go back to that stuff. I need to get a little more structure and I think with a little more structure, my eating will be a little bit more structured, especially on the weekends. Cause that's what I'm, like I said, I get a little more picky. So that's my goals for June. So my new ones, declutter and organize the basement, two dorm items a week for Adam, reining it in a little bit on the weekends and budgeting my time better. And I'm gonna continue my devotional, my mass, my BLTs, my less screen time, and my water, which I feel like I got a handle on this. So that that's one thing I feel super about. So yeah, that's that. There are my goals. And while I have your attention, I just wanted to give two channel shout outs, two new channel shout outs that, you know, if you'd like to look for some new content, um, 
they're two people that I have been watching. Uh, they're relatively new channels. One is very new. She only has two videos up. And that is called Healthy Living with Gail. Gail is a sweetheart. She, um, we were on a Zoom meeting together the other night. We were talking and she lives in Maryland and that's where my kids go to school. So that made me feel really good. Um, so I would love you to go check out Gail's channel and let her know I sent you over. I'll leave her uh, link in the description box below. She has two videos up, her introduction video and a day of eating. So go check her out. And also Chelsea from Mom Life in My 30s. Um, she is a WW member. She does very short, quick videos. So if you ever need that little filler video in between some of the longer ones, you know, us people who tend to talk a lot. Um, she's got, you know, really good content. And like I said, nice, quick little videos. You can catch up really easy with her. So, and I will leave Chelsea's link in the description box below. So go check out those two channels. You might find something that's helpful to you. You might find that, you know, you really like their content and that would be great and give them some love hit that subscribe button let them know i sent you over and that is it for my monthly goals and my channel shout outs so let me know in the comments below what your goals are for june um let me know if you think mine are realistic i try i really do um i really the budgeting the time one is going to be huge for me and I'm going to make it work. I am because I need to get back to that structure. And like I said, you know, with summer coming, my last day of official work is June 18th. Um, and then I'm off for a couple of weeks and then I go to a summer schedule, which this is normal for me. I do it every summer. It's just a little bit different this summer. And then not knowing what the fall is going to bring, um, if I'll be back to work full time or not. So. Yeah, I just, I need to get back on some kind of schedule. So that's my plan. That's my big one. That's my big one. So let me know below what your goals are. And that is it. Have a fantastic, fantastic day. And I will talk to you very soon.